and welcome to SFF Tech Reviews. You know, I promised you a contest. Basically, all three of these coolers are good. They're awesome, uh, and they do what they're supposed to do. And what's the best thing is they are low profile, so you can get in those tight cases that they really haven't properly engineered yet to you know, get everything in that little bitty box. Now, what we did was we did this Arctic Cooler uh, 11 LP. Uh, the LP meaning low profile and uh, it's got two direct heat pipes coming through it uh, and copper uh, at the bottom plate and then we did the CPSX2 which is from Zalman now this one has got the uh, this one's got the exo exposed heat pipe that goes all around so I mean it kind of acts like there's uh, there's two but it's really one and of course the Fantech uh, that I that I did the review on, and it's the PH uh, TC 90 LS. Now, this one I didn't think was going to be the winner. With my test was with a Z 87 X UD 3H gigabyte motherboard, which awesome for overclocking. The BIOS is so friendly, and it's one of those boards that just says, give me something else. I need something else. I loved that board. It really, Gigabyte, somebody had told me one time that Gigabyte had kind of lost their edge. If they lost their edge, <laughs> they must have really been great at one time because this is a great board. Anyway, I, what I did was I took the uh, 4770, overclocked it then I had like uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM uh, which was basically all four slots hooked up and uh, uh, EVGA 6, 650 Ti in, in, in there and a, uh, a really nice uh, Seasonic power supply anyway the Zalman the Zalman was great for recovery it couldn't really, you know, there's the old state saying that says, you know, if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. Well, this thing, man, when the heat when the heat got knocked up, it was really hard for it to handle it. But when it was time for it and, and the load went away, when it was time for it to cool back down, this one cooled, cooled down the fastest. So that's what I liked about this. And like I said, I overclocked the processor. And I ran Intel burn test twice. So, I mean, I was trying my best to just burn that CPU up. So, um, I wasn't being fair on, this, on these coolers. But that's not what a test is for. I don't want to be fair with it. I want to be tough on it. So, this one held up to the test. And it got in the high 80s with Intel burn with that overclock. But it also would drop back down to the low 30s, like almost instantly. It's really cool. Now, with the Arctic Cooler, this is the one that I actually thought was going to win the race. Uh, the 11 LP is, of course, low profile. And it has two uh, through the pad uh, heat pipes. And also a nice spin configuration. And what I liked about this is it's super quiet. I mean, if you need a super quiet fan that'll do the job for a low profile, this one is the one to buy. This one really, really, really is an awesome. It worked fine. Um, it came in second. Oh, by the way, the CMPS came in third. It just couldn't handle those really, really hot, hot, hot temperatures. But like I told you, there's nothing wrong with it. It's a great one. The only thing is, just don't overclock with it. This one, you could overclock with this one a little bit, but still, just running it at normal temperature, this one runs really good, and like I said, it's really exceptionally quiet. I couldn't even tell when, whenever the fan would kick up to 100% when I was running Intel Burn. I couldn't even tell this thing was running. I had to look and see if it was actually spinning. 
Now, the one that I was really surprised at, and you notice I'm holding the box. Actually, the reason why I'm holding the box is because the cooler's still on my system in there. Uh, I kept it. Uh, <laughs> it's a good cooler. Uh, those people who were laughing, I'm going to laugh back at them. <laughs> See? Because the PHTC90LS is built on a platform that's been around for a long time. Uh, the uh, that's not a new configuration for for this type of cooler. It is a server cooler, but they did a little bit better with it. Boy, this one holds. Now this one didn't recover from heat as as fast as the Zalman did. But as far as overall quality, design, and for um, cooling at high loads, even at overclock, this one won the race. This is the winner. This is a Fantech wins on that. This is SFF Tech Review. I'm Derek Smith, your host, and I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, subscribe. Thanks. Happy modding and God bless. Hey, 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 hey.